Also at five, new developments in the case against Mitchell Young. The highly anticipated Cipriano murder trial is getting underway in Oakland County. This is happening two days after Sucker Tucker Cipriano pleads no contest to killing his father and critically injuring his mother and younger brother and essentially opting for life without parole. But not for his friend, co-defendant Mitchell Young. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live now with more on opening statements. Jim. Glenda, the prosecutor laying out what is going to be a very tough case to hear that this is first degree premeditated murder. So they have to decide who's going to kill who. So Mitchell Young and Tucker Cipriano. It was April of last year that Bob Cipriano was beaten to death with a baseball bat in the kitchen of their Farmington Hills home. His wife Rose and son Salvatore critically beaten. Several parts of this skull are caved in and shattered. They're both on death's doorstep. Mitchell Young was caught inside the house. Both young men had been kicked out of their homes, wanted to steal anything of value. Both had smoked spice. Both planned to go to Mexico. And the jury will find out Young confessed. This trial will be for him a day of vindication or a series of days of vindication. Now, next hour at 6, we'll look closer at the evidence and the opening statements given to the jury, how both young men were in the center of this crime. And this trial goes on against the wishes of the Cipriano family. Remember, we first reported a couple of weeks ago how Rose and two younger kids who survived the attacks do not want to testify. They're still on the witness list. Glenda, Jeff, 